Hello. Good morning, children. How are you all? In the previous class, we learned about safety rules. So, we said what we should do in our school and also on the road. Isn't it? So, we should not touch me we are at home. Like uh, scissors, knife blade. And also, we should not touch with the, our wet hands items like iron box, geyser, toaster, etc. Isn't it? And at the school also, we should follow Q. So, all these things we learned. And also, on the road, we should not walk alone. Always. We have to go with some elder people. And also when we cross the road, we should use zebra crossing. Now, today we are going to learn about first aid. So what is first aid? Despite following safety rules, we may get hurt at times. It is very important to help when someone gets hurt. The immediate help given to an injured person is known as first aid. So children, what is first aid? The immediate help given to an injured person is known as first aid. So whenever we see any person uh, got any injury, any injury or any hurt, we should help that person. So that is known as first aid. Our first help we should give them to that person. Then we can take them to hospital. So the help given to a person the first time. That is known as first aid. Two important rules that should always be followed are never count around a person who is hurt. Call an elder or a doctor immediately. So that we should all of us together near to that person. So in many times we can see in the school when somebody gets any hurt, all will gather. Is it? So that is not a good thing. Just we have to inform if it is in the school, just inform to a teacher or any work angle. Okay. Call an elder or a doctor immediately. So you can call any elder person. So children, be aware of that. Whenever anyone gets any hurt, don't gather together. Instead, that you can call any elder person. It is important to know how to give first aid to people whenever required. Let us learn some common first aid rules. So it is very important to know how to give first aid to people whenever required. So we should know how when someone gets any hurt, how to give first aid. So here, some things how to do that is given. So let us learn children. Okay. The first point is that in case of cuts and wounds, Clean the wound with the clean water first. Then use an antiseptic lotion like Dettol or Salon and call an adult. So what is the first thing children? In case of cuts and wounds, clean the wound with clean water. So if someone gets any hurt, see that on the picture you can see here, see that the boy gone hurt on the knee so what we should do first clean that wound with the clean water then use an antiseptic lotion so any lotion we can use and that is first aid then we can call any adult or any elder people and can take into the hospital the next point Putting ice cubes and cold water helps. You can even put an antiseptic ointment after that. So sometimes 
we get to burn, isn't it? So that time, what we should do? Put ice cubes and cold water. So it will help somewhat. Or it will reduce our pain. So we can use ice cubes and cold water. Or you can even put an antiseptic ointment also. The next point is that in case of a fawn, we can put ice cubes on the bruised area till help arise. Suppose when we fall, we can that time also we can use ice cubes and also and after that we can take into a hospital. Then it is important to keep a first aid box ready at school as well as at home. If a person needs to be taken to a hospital, then with the help of an elder person, dial 102 and call an ambulance. So it is important to keep a first aid box ready, not only in the school, at the home also. It is very important. So many times we may get different injuries. Sometimes we may fall while playing. We may fall, or you may get any burn or any hurt. If there is a first aid box, then we no need to go here and there in search of ointment or bandage. So everything you should keep in a box. So that box should contain all the uh, ointments or lotions or cotton, scissors, everything. So that box is known as first aid box. So children. You can also do at your home and make this a homework for you. Make one first aid box and keep it ready at your home. Okay. So it is important to keep a first aid box ready at school as well as at your home. So if a person needs to be taken to a hospital, so if it is injury is very um, too much, very bad, so you can't do at your home, then you have to taken to a hospital so that time no vehicles at your home so what you should do you can call an ambulance so what is the number of to call an ambulance one zero two okay remember that number children no you should not do your with your with the help of your parents or elders can do so here and also china did you know if you put sugar on a cut, you can stop it from bleeding. That is also important. If you put some sugar in a cut, so uh, bleeding will stop spontaneously. Okay. Now, you can see first aid box. On the screen, you look at the screen. There is a first aid box. So like this way, you make it one. You can use instead of this box, um, one uh, shoe box. Isn't it? See here many things are there. See, uh, antiseptic lotion. See that is antiseptic lotion. Then uh, creep bandage. Then you can see the cotton. See that is cotton. Then scissors. Then band bandage. See the next you can see bandaid. See that is bandaid. Then some antiseptic ointment. See all this. So when you make a first aid bones, all these things should be included. Okay, children. So it is easy for you whenever you get any hurt or any injury, or you can easy easily you can take things. So like this, you make one and keep it in a box. And written outside, you can write the first aid box. Okay, children. Now, next, our values. We should help each other in times of need. We should always provide first aid to people when they are hurt. So, always we should help others, so especially in time of need. And also, we should always provide first aid to people when they are hurt. Okay, children. 
Have you ever helped somebody who has gone hurt or needs your help? See, children, have you ever helped somebody? See, though you are the small ch children, I think you got many chances to help others. Did you do any time? Let us remember. It is important to live safely and follow safety rules. So in order to save our life, we have to follow many safety rules. So in the last class, I told you what are the safety rules uh, while we are in the school, at your home, on the road. What are the safety rules we have to follow, isn't it? So if we follow all the safety rules, we can save our life. Then next, it is very important to give first aid to a person who is hurt before help arrives. Yes, children, it is very important that we should give first aid to a person who got some injury or hurt. So at once we can't take them to hospital. Sometimes hospital will be so far. So just we can do some help or first aid at home and take that person to the hospital. Okay, children. The next point, it is important to keep a first aid box ready in school as well as at home. So I already told you to make one first aid box ready at home. In the school already we have at home, those who are not having, you can make one first aid box. The next keyword, safety. That means the state of being safe. Then body, getting on a bus, train, ship or aeroplane. So we are getting inside of any vehicles. It is known as boarding. The next first aid. Immediate help given to an injured person before help arrives. So first aid, first help. That is first aid. So we can't take them to hospital at once. So we can give some help from home or school. That is known as first aid. The next antiseptic. Something that stops germs from growing and causing an infection. So antiseptic ointment is there. Antiseptic lotion is there. So for one we use that uh, not to stop germs entering to the wound. So if it uh, germs, if germs enter into the wound or the injured places, then we'll get infection. So in order to avoid this infection, we have to use antiseptic ointment or antiseptic lotion. The next ointment, a smooth cream that can be rubbed on the skin to heal a wound. So ointment, for what we use ointment or what is an ointment? A smooth cream that can be rubbed on the skin to heal a wound. I think all of us have already uh, used this ointment, isn't it? Because many times we got hurt or injury or burn, isn't it? So children, this in this chapter we learned about safety rules and also first aid. So what are the safety rules we have to use or we should follow or we should remember when we are in the home or at the school or on the road and also first aid when we use first aid isn't it children so <clears throat> today also we learned about first aid our values just remember keyword and so now what you should do read this lesson five times loudly yeah? all of you from home read this lesson loudly and also learn the spelling. Call your parents, <coughs> make them to sit in front of you. Then you read. So they will hear you are reading. Okay. I learn the spellings also and the exercises we will take next class. Now it is too much for you. So read the lesson and practice and also do the homework. What is the homework? Make a first aid box.
Okay. See, once again, I will show you like this box. You can take any shoe box or any other carton box and keep all these things inside. And you can use any tag. You see, all these things see, on the screen, you can see so many things. So, all these things put in the box and uh, place it nicely. Okay. So, this is the homework from this chapter. Okay, children. Thank you. Have a nice day.